what our first study indicated was that the 18 people, believe it or not, said they wanted more breadth and depth in the news. That was, that was music to our ears because what it meant was that we could, that, that we could stop delivering all these sh short headlines and snippets and really start to dig in and, and provide a more in-depth coverage in all forms, in, uh, including other media beyond text. If we step back and try to figure out what is it that they're trying to do, instead of what kind of content are they looking for, uh, it, it opened up a whole new realm of thought about how to package content and how to develop new products. We've, we've since uh, developed uh, this in the past uh, six weeks, and this is what we're calling a, a new, we call the first thing a new model for news. We're calling this uh, ambitiously a new model for communication. Uh, you can read the full report at a website uh, that we've set up, a new, uh, newcommunicationmodel.org. Uh, both uh, reports are accessible there. But essentially what we've done here is, is, is uh, set out the, the new environment for communication. So it's not just about connecting the parts, it's about creating a better environment for information providers and advertisers to connect to the audience. And we renamed the atoms into uh, uh, more fundamental parts. Uh, the, and, and, you, and you'll see it in the report. Uh, and then we also uh, uh, talked about the, uh, a force that sort of binds the atoms, which is this idea of community. The anthropologists called it communitas. That's a, that's a fancy anthropological term. Maybe, maybe Beth know, uh, is the only one in the crowd that knows it. But uh, it's, it's a term for a, a kind of community that develops in an early stage of a new social order. And what, and, and what the, the cultural anthropologists were were telling us and concluding from our study was that we're really in the midst of developing a new cultural order around communication. And to do that, we have to really work hard. It's not just about connecting the parts or delivering the right information. It's about creating the right environment. You'll see how we approach things much differently. We're not just uh, hooking up our RSS feed and blasting out the headlines. That would be violating the first, the first thing that we learned. What we're, what we're using those accounts for is to, is to connect to the audience, to ask them what they, what they want. Uh, for instance, one today on the Twitter account is that uh, we, we, we put it out there that the census takers are going to start coming around and, and we're asking people, what do you, you know, are you going to, to fill out the census report and, and, and questions around it. So we're, we're, we're getting feedback from the audience. We're not just blasting out news. And, and, and that's really helping to transform uh, not just our relationship with the audience, but, but transforming uh, the journalists. The journalists are getting turned on by this and, and some of the the, uh, some of the oldest members of our 3,000 strong uh, news team around the world are really enjoying connecting directly uh, to individuals in, 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 uh, in the audience and getting their, their direct feedback. It's really shaping our journalism.